Good evening. This evening I read from an anthology which has recently been published but is one of my very, very favorites. Rivers Going Home, published by Red River and edited by dear Ashwini Kumarji. Reading from the introduction. The poems in this anthology have birthed in a strange locale. They bring forth the memory of a collective chilling experience from the times when the world was suddenly collapsing around us, leaving us stranded through hallucinatory experiences of lockdown and social isolation. Rivers Going Home is neither a COVID diary nor a documentary of isolation pangs. For us, rivers are everywhere, in our holy prayers of Eid in the masjid, in the temple festivals, in the syllables of our meters, in the costumes of our forests, and in the rain's percussions. Thus, the anthology has a much larger vision of poetry, an overreaching ecological and feminist way of seeing the world and using metaphors for water to seep deep into the earth, into our bodies, into our memories. It is the merging of me and we in a collection that I think has something unique to offer to the world. This is an excerpt from the introduction written by Sri Ashwini Kumar for this beautiful anthology, Rivers Going Home. I'm humbled to have two of my poems here and I will read one of them. My poem's entitled Fireflies. Last night, we let loose the demons within us, disturbing the fragile peace we had woven together. Our gossamer togetherness felt like a dream where you were reaching out from behind the padlock and I was trying to take your hand desperately trying to hold on to the essence of you in my palm. Night surrounded us with her cloak of pitch black like a cover for us and our disturbed togetherness. Yet the fireflies danced around, reminding us that even if fragile and gossamer, love is always a celebration. Thank you.